Hello everyone, Phoenix Gaming here and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build an item frame, a combination lock that is only one wide and tileable. So this thing can go from one all the way down to 15. It does not need to be six. This is just for the sake of the video. So how this thing works is the item frames now give off a pulse. It goes from one to eight, starting right here from one. Then it goes two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And then it resets back to one. So the one right here gives off one pulse and then all the way around, all the way down to eight pulses. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in my combination so I can open up my Jeb door right there. So this side one's going to be pointing down to the left like this. This one's going to be pointing all the way to the left. Oop, I went too far. So this one has to point all the way to the left. This one has to point all the way to the left as well. Now this one has to point all the way to the right. Now you don't have to use redstone torches. I just think it looks the best. Then this one has to point down to the left as well. And this one has to point upwards towards the left. And then my Jeb door opens up. Now your combination does not have to look like this. You can change it to whatever you'd like. There is so many possibilities. I think right here there is over, I don't know, like 32,000 possibilities you can put in for this, just this combination right here. So your friend's never going to figure it out. 32,000 possibilities. I'm sure he's not going to sit there and try to figure it out. So we're going to go ahead and come inside our Jeb door flip down our lever and now our secret base is closed up then when we're ready to leave our secret well uh i think my base got blown up a little bit but when we're ready to leave all we do is flip back up the lever and all you literally have to do is just move one of them and it will close the jeb door but obviously i recommend just putting it back into its normal state or just move two of them as long as you move two of them you should be absolutely fine so you know i'm not going to sit here and put that back in we want to see what the redstone looks like behind this thing now it I know it looks a little bad. I know it looks a little bad, but it's not that bad. Once we get into the swing of this, trust me, this thing is extremely easy to build. And there's not really much going on here since every single one is only one wide. You can understand that each one is pretty much exactly the same. So let's go ahead and start building this thing. All right, guys. So for the sake of the video, I decided to make this thing four wide. Like I said, you can go all the way up to 15 wide, all the way down to one wide if you really want to. But this build, you're going to need a 4 by 14 spacing, and you're going to have to dig down at least 2. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build, now this is for each individual spot. So, only one of the combinations is going to be this much. So, since I'm doing 4, I'm going to have to times this by 4. But the resources I'm going to need are 1 comparator, 2 redstone repeaters, 11 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, an item frame, and two stone slabs so every time i add on another combination so mine's going to be times that by four all right guys so once you have gathered all of your resources come to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to start off with the first combination so we're just going to place a block right here like this and then a block up right above it you can use whatever colors you want you don't even have to use any colors right here i just like putting a color for my item frame like that and place an item frame on the block with a redstone torch inside of it you can also use whatever item you want inside here but i just think the redstone torch looks the best then we're going to swing off of the backhand side right here, place a block, and then we're going to have our comparator coming out of the block with the item frame on it. As you can see, the comparator already comes on because an item frame now gives off a pulse when there's an item inside of it. So now it's time to make our combination. Now this is completely up to you. You could change whatever your combination is, but if you want to just follow along with the first one, you get an understanding of how this thing is working, then it will be absolutely fine. But you can make this thing go up to eight blocks long. So see if I went one two three four five six seven eight like that this thing could give off an eight pulse as long as we keep flipping around the thing so you know as just a showcase of what to do with this thing let's go ahead and take lamps out you don't have to do this just follow along this will give you an understanding of how this thing is working so we're going to place down eight redstone lamps and as you can see one redstone lamp is on right now because this is in the one position so now if i flip it down to two like this if i flip it once it's now at two then we're going to go three four five six seven and then eight and as you can see all the redstone lamps came on and that's how everything is working so i'm gonna go get rid of this and i'm gonna get rid of all of my lamps so let's say i want to make my first combination three so this is already at one then it's two and then it's three so three is pointing all the way towards the left i want mine to be three so what we're gonna do is just find where our redstone is at three i'm gonna just break this now we don't need all of this right here so three will come out three pieces of redstone dust so at the end of this block right here what i want you to do is place a torch down like this the torch should go off because it's on our three already 
And then we're going to take out our slab and we're going to put a slab right above this torch upside down. So what I like to do is since I already have my redstone dust in here, you can either break your redstone, put a block here, and then place your slab off the side of it upside down and then just go ahead and put your redstone back in. Or you could just do a different method. It really doesn't matter. Then next up, what I want you to do is put a piece of redstone dust on top of this slab. Put another slab upside down next to this slab with a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay. Next up, place a block in front of your repeater. And we're going to place down a block in front of our redstone torch. So go ahead and put a block right in front of your redstone torch. And then we're going to come up a block and place down two pieces of redstone dust. Now, when this redstone dust right here is off, that means our combination is open. That means our door will open up when this redstone is off. So let's see. If I go up one more over three, if I just go up one more over three, as you can see, it will turn on this repeater, leaving the redstone dust on. And that's how this whole thing is working. It has to be exactly at three, because then if it's at two, this torch will be on as well. So let's go ahead and flip it all the way around to two real quick. You know, let's just put it at one. So to see how it's at one right now, the dust is still on because this torch is now on. So it has to be exactly three to turn off this redstone torch. However, if it goes to four, it will turn on this repeater and leave it locked. And if it's at two, this torch will be on and it will leave it locked as well. So this thing has to be exactly at three for everything to turn off. And that's how everything works, guys. It is that simple. And now pretty much what we do for the second one, since we can't put them right next to each other or else they will interfere with each other, we're going to be going down instead of up. So now we're going to go ahead and do our second combination. So we're gonna put a block right here, put our item frame off the block and go ahead and place a redstone torch inside of it with our block of choice underneath it. Next, we're going to come a block out from the back with our comparator once again. And now we want to pretty much figure out what we want our combination to be. So this one is one. So let's see. Two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead with five. Let's, we're going to go ahead and do five like that. So we're going to put our block in front of our comparator. And instead of going up this time, we're going to go down. So come underneath with a block delete this block right here or break it, whatever you want to say. Now, since my combination is five, I'm going to have to come out five blocks from here. So we're going to come out four and then go down one for the fifth block. So one, two, three, four, and then come down one block five like that. And that's going to be our combination. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, and all the redstone is lit up. Now, before I actually move on, just in case yours is bigger and let's say it goes past this one, let's say we have another block right here with a piece of redstone dust like that and it's connecting together. It is very easy to fix that, guys. All you have to do is just put a block above it and break off the current. That's for anyone who goes past this little area right here and they're connecting together. Since mine went down at the fifth one, they didn't interfere with each other, but that's just in case yours goes past one of these and they interfere with each other. So we're just going to come down our block. Next up, right off the side of the block, we're just going to put down our redstone torch once again, just like we did here. It's going to be the exact same thing we just did here. Next up, we're going to go ahead and put a slab right above our redstone torch that is off right now. So go ahead and put a slab right here, another slab right here with a piece of redstone dust on top of it and a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Next up, we're going to place redstone dust coming out of this off redstone torch. So let's go ahead and just put two blocks like this and put two pieces of redstone dust like that and a block in front of our repeater. And as you can see, since it is off, that means our door will be open for both of them. They're both off. So that means our door will be open. So if I flip this even one more over, boop, as you can see, that repeater comes on, the dust comes on. So that means our door will be closed. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in its motion to keep it open. So that is our second one completely done. All right, guys. So for the third combination, we're going to be pretty much just repeating the first step we did here because the odds are going to be the same and the evens are going to be the same. So we're going to be doing the exact same one we did here, of course, with a different combination, though. So place down your item frame off your third one and then place in your redstone torch. And now I'm going to be making this one. Let's say we want to go make it go all the way to the right. So that should be seven. So this is one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I want mine to go left, then up, then right, and then I'm probably just gonna make it go down. So it's a very easy combination. So now what we're gonna do is just swing to the backhand side, do the exact same thing we did over here on the red one, place down a block, put a comparator coming out of the block that has our item frame on it, place up a block in front of it, and I'm going to have to come out seven blocks from here. So one, count the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm gonna have to place redstone dust along all the tops of the blocks. Then we're gonna have to come all the way down here at the end and do the exact same thing we did here on the red one. We're just gonna place a torch off the side. Then I'm gonna break this redstone right here, place a block here and put a slab upside down, break this back and put our redstone back like this. Come out another slab with a piece of redstone dust here and a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Then coming out from this redstone dust, we're gonna come out two blocks, so one, and then come up one, two, 
place down two pieces of redstone dust and then a block on top of the redstone dust coming out of that repeater so it looks something like this and now it's time to do the fourth combination and this is going to be the same as the yellow one the evens are going to be the same and the odds are going to be the same so we're going to put a block up here put down our block and place in our item frame with our redstone torch and we already have it at what I want it to be I want it to be the first one right here so we're just going to come out a block right here with a comparator coming out of the back of the block it should come on and then we're just going to come up a block and then we're going to have to come underneath a block because this one's going to be a down one so we're going to put a block right here with a piece of redstone dust now there's a reason why I wanted to choose one for this one is because this one's a little bit different since this is an even number and we're coming down like this we can't simply just put our slab right here and have it work the way we have been having it work this entire time because if I put a redstone torch here one it can't connect to the redstone dust since there is a block right here blocking it and two that comparator is just gonna go right into here and set it up to one as well so to make this thing this thing's gonna be just a tiny bit different we're gonna have to put a slab here like we just did so it's going to be that redstone torch with a slab here then we're going to put a block here in the middle and then go ahead and put another slab like this then we're going to place down two pieces of redstone dust one two these are going to connect together depending on how big your third combination is we do not want this to happen so just place blocks like this and that will disconnect it next up we're going to put a repeater right here coming out of this redstone dust with a block in front of it so now coming out from where this redstone torch is we're going to come all the way down to right where our repeater is then come up our block and then place redstone dust along all of these blocks and that's going to be that combination this one's going to look different from every other one because it's so weird however if you do the first torch on one that is on top like this it will look exactly the same as the rest so i'm just giving you guys a heads up if you do want a torch going down like this i highly recommend doing it on one of the ones that are up instead of down or else it's going to look like this however everything is done everything should work absolutely fine so now all we have to do is bring our line of redstone all the way down here to the end so just remember guys this thing is exactly 14 blocks long so as you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 so we're gonna have a line of blocks all the way here at the end with a row of dust going along the whole entire thing like that so it has to be 14 blocks from the first row over here that has our item frames on top of it so starting off with the first row guys all we have to do is just connect this piece of redstone dust all the way over here to this piece of redstone dust there so it's very simple for the top ones we're going to have blocks above them so for the ones that go up we're going to have blocks above them so this row is going to have a block above it and this row is going to have a block above it and then for the ones that went down we don't have to do anything so we have to bring this line right here to this line right here so come up a block and then we're going to come down a block like this and bring this line going all the way over to this one so we're just going to go like this with lines of blocks and place redstone dust down on all of these blocks like this then we're going to come out with a repeater right here and now our lines of redstone dust is connected to this one because this repeater will activate that piece of redstone dust so if i switch over this one right here if i just switch it over one as you can see the redstone is now lit up down here so now it's time to hook up our second row this is going to be a down one literally all we have to do is just bring our line of blocks going all the way to the end like this put a repeater going into this block right here and place redstone dust along all of them the bottom ones are very easy to do just literally bring your line of blocks going all the way down now it's time to hook up our third one this is another top one so all we have to do is put a block up like this and then a block down and place in our repeater since mine is all the way towards the end all i had to do was that and that's going to be the third one and now this one all we have to do is just bring our line up and now it's time to hook up our fourth one so just bring your line of blocks going all the way down to the end place your repeater going into the block and then bring your line of redstone going all the way down so now everything is hooked up to this one line of redstone dust so let's go ahead and just uh push this one back over to its normal state so it's not on all the time so there we go so now it's all off so now what we have to do is hook this to a door and we're completely done this right here is your output as long as you hook this to an input of any sort of door you want 3x3 door 3x3 hidden door you can go ahead and do just a jeb door things like that you are completely done so i'm gonna go ahead and just do a jeb door really quick for you guys and then we can end off the video because like i said that is it you are completely done if you put a block right here off this piece of redstone dust with a torch coming off the side of it this redstone torch right here will send an input to your door to open it up so let's go ahead and put our little border around this thing just so it looks nice i'm going to place a border around my entire combination lock now like i said you can make this thing much bigger or much smaller if you want to it can go up to 15 blocks so now we're going to hook this up into a easy jeb door and then we'll go ahead and end the video so all i'm going to do is just place in a jeb door really quickly just to show you how this thing can work so we're just going to come one block over from here if you're going to be doing the jeb door as well we're just going to come one block out from our combination lock and we're going to place in four sticky pistons like this we should be one block away from this comparator so it should look something like that 
then we're gonna place in two sticky pistons facing forwards we're gonna skip three blocks one two three place in two sticky pistons going this way and four facing towards the front of those two sticky pistons next up take out your blocks of choice and place two blocks of choice in front of it and then place a cap right above it with more blocks of choice you will be able to see them then starting from the middle right here we're gonna place in two pieces of redstone dust place two repeaters going this way on two ticks delay and then place two pieces of redstone dust along the sides of them so now if i put a lever right here and i flip it down as you can see our jeb door closes on this side so we can go ahead and fill in this entire thing right here so it looks nice there we go and then if i flip up the lever our jeb door will open up so now all we have to do is hook up from this redstone torch right here all the way up to this piece of redstone dust right here so all I like to do is just put a block right above my redstone torch and then come up another block like this and put redstone dust on top of both of them. One, two, and then I'm just going to bring my line going all the way down to here like that. And then I'm going to swing it in this way, three blocks. So now all I have to do is just bring my redstone dust coming all the way down to the end of the build like this. Next up, place a block in front of your redstone dust with a repeater coming out of it. Put a block in front of your repeater and then go ahead and place in another redstone torch off the side of this. But before you do that, break this redstone dust and then place in your torch and then place your redstone dust back in. And now last up, place a lever off the side of this block so we can close it and open it up from the inside. And that is it, guys. You're completely done. So all we have to do is just place blocks like this so we can't see any of the redstone up here. Place some blocks down here so we can't see any of these pistons. And now if I went ahead and I put in my combination, our Jeb door should open up. So I went ahead and put my combination back into its default state so my Jeb door closed. So all we have to do is just put in my combination and my door should open up. So the first one has to go all the way to the left. Then the second one has to go all the way up. Then this one has to go all the way to the right and it should open up so once this one hits the right our jeb door should open up however if even one is off our jeb door will close so let me go ahead and swing this back around so i can open up my door but once our door is open up we can come inside flip down this lever and close the jeb door behind us do what we have to do inside of our secret base but once we are done flip the lever back up and come out of our secret base and all you have to do is just flip over one of these redstone torches and your door will close but there you guys have it that is how you build an item frame combination lock that is only one wide and tileable if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace